Hi, this is Nir from Polypop and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect a Twitch alert to an emitter in Polypop in order to create uh, an effect like this, for example, when someone triggers an alert on your live stream, for example, cheers you. So whenever someone cheers you right now, that's what happens in my live stream. So let's get on to it. The first thing I want to do is add an emitter to my scene. In order to do so, I will go to the scene layout panel, I will click on the plus button and I will uh, go to 3D object emitters and we'll choose the 3D objects that I want to emit. In this case, I will choose the Minecraft coin or Minecraft diamond because the background is Minecraft. Once I did that, an emitter is added to my scene and also a 3D object emitter layer added to my scene layout. So let's check the default settings for this uh, emitter. I will click on the emit burst under the properties and we can see that the default settings burst five coins uh, to my scene. This is not exactly uh, the effect that we were looking for, so let's change that. Let's see what we can do. First of all, the first thing we need to do is add more um, coins because we want like a, a big effect of all these coins bursting around. So um, I will change the maximum simultaneous to 50. That means that any given moment, 50 coins can be on my scenes before it was five. And I will change the burst count to 50. That means that every burst will blast 50 coins into the scene. So let's check it out now. We can see that we have 50 coins in the scene. They're kind of like a bit boring. They're not moving around. They're kind of small and on the back. I will go to the properties under physics and we'll click on the on off uh, button to make them float. And if I click on the emit burst, we can see that they are moving around in space, not standing still, but mm, not the effect we were looking for still. Um, let's change that. Uh, we want them to like fly up towards us. In order to do so, I will go to the transform part of the properties. I will open the rotation and I will change the X value to minus 90. That means that the coins will jump towards me. Uh, let's check it out. Let's see if it works. Emit burst again. Yep, they are jumping up kind of slow uh, on a real live stream. You have done, you don't have time for that. And also they stay here, kind of block the view for the viewers. Hmm, we're getting there, but still not there. So let's first uh, clear the objects so we can see what we're doing make the initial velocity stronger so they will jump faster. Now it's like 10. Let's make it 50. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah, it's kind of strong, but I can live with that. Um, another thing, the effect that I was looking for was to them to jump and go back down. In order to do so, we need to give them some force. Uh, under physics, in the properties, again, of the emitter, I will change the value. So first, the first thing I want to do is make them drop to the back uh, and that's the Z axis. I will change that to six. Once I do that, you can see they're all falling down we can, on my monitor in this case, but we'll change that. And we also wanted them to on the, on the right and on, uh, on the bottom. So I will change the X to value to 10 and the Y value to minus four. So let's check it again. I will clear the object, give them a burst they're jumping up and falling down to their place. But as we can see, um, they're staying in the scene and I don't want that. I would want them to clear once the effect is over. Uh, if we look in the properties, we, we can see that their lifetime is infinite. So let's change it to four seconds and check another burst. Go up and down and disappear after four seconds. Perfect. The only thing uh, I want to change here is um, the place they are actually going from. So now right now it's in the center of my screen. I want to I want them to go back and start from the same place. So I will put them on the bottom right. Let's let's give it a try and see. OK, they're coming up, they're coming down. But since I move them a little to the side, the forces change a little bit and I need to give them some more uh, force in the initial velocity, I will change it to 150. Let's say, let's see. <laughs> okay, a bit strong. Let's do it um, 90.
okay i can live with that uh that's a nice effect for an alert so now we need to connect the twitch alert to that in order to do so i will uh go to web services in the source library i will click on the twitch i already i am already connected to twitch if you're not you can go to the settings here uh, preferences connected account and click on connect on twitch and that will take you to the website and connect you automatically to twitch so here we have all the alerts that can be connected i will choose the on cheer that means that whenever someone cheers me this uh, effect will happen live on the screen so i will the way to do that is I, I will just like um, take my mouse and pull up this wire from the socket on the on cheer and I will connect it to the emit burst. You can see that once I take the wire, the socket start to blink. And but in this case, I just want to connect it to the emit burst. So uh, let's see. Let's check it. I will click on on cheer that will simulate uh, a cheer. And we can see that the effect happens once I someone cheered me let's do it again yep so we just made um an alert in twitch uh custom made uh we can change it very easily if i go to the 3d object emitter uh, i can change the 3d object the prefab so if i click on the prefab here i can choose another one and that will automatically change the effect so if i go to twitch and cheer i will click on the cheer and now because i chose this a laughing emoji uh, whenever someone cheers me that what will happen let's just change it one last time to for example I don't know uh, mash mushrooms so on cheer I will click on that and yep of course uh, we can change the color because since we are in Minecraft and the colors uh, can be changed to the Minecraft colors for example blue let's see how that works weird looking blue mushroom flying around whenever someone cheers you but yeah you got the idea basically you can change it to whatever you want you can also play with the velocity the amount the forces and create your very own unique uh, twitch alert um, just like that you can um, choose whatever um, 3d object you want and you can even import your own uh, 3d object and just use that uh, as your twitch alert so thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye.